Hey folks, Pastor Kelly coming at you today. Uh, again, I'm sitting in the parking lot. My beautiful wife is having another doctor's appointment. Next week it'll be me. I've got two next week myself. It's 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 never ending with us. But Lord bless us with another day. Thank Jesus, and here we are. And uh, I have a little message to put out to you. And by the way, I'm not wearing a hat today, so yeah, I'm not bald. Lord bless me with hair too. <laughs> But anyway, I just thought I'd throw that in there. I'm sitting here reading my Bible like I always do. I've got it on the on the phone that I'm using to record this message with, but um, I prefer, I'm old school. I'm old, look at me, I'm an old man. I'm preferring, look at, this is my mom's Bible. It's got big letters. I can read it easily. All right, grab yours. Yeah, give, I'll give you a second. There's one, two, three, you can bring it up. Okay, turn to Matthew 10 with me. And I want you to start reading with me there at Matthew 10 and uh, 25. <clears throat> and then I want to talk about what I started this video about. It is enough for the disciples that he has been as his master and the servant as his Lord. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebub, how much more shall they call them of his household? Are they going to call him? No. Not really. Because they don't trust him. Beelzebub, the devil. It's, but a lot of folks doesn't know, they don't know this, that Beelzebub means Lord of the Flies in, in uh, Cayman language. But if you go on reading, it's where I'm at on this. Fear them not, for there is nothing covered that shall be not revealed, and hid that shall not be known. What I tell you in darkness, that speak ye in light, and what ye hear in the ear, that preach ye from the housetops. Now, folks, what that's saying is, you can't hide nothing that God don't know about. And what you do not hide will come out sooner or later. And here is the pivot to the Podesta emails. They're coming out like a floodgate. And they're showing that Clinton as dirty as everyone thought she was and we knew that the reason I read the uh, scripture before that 25 about Beelzebub and the Lord of the Flies Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama both have had speeches this year this year and both of them had a fly land on their face now flies are attracted to rotting flesh. We all know how they're made. You have to have larvae for a fly to hatch and da 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 da. Well, the one with Obama was outside. It's a, eh, maybe a mess up. But with Clinton, that one was done at the debate. That happened at the debate. I would hope to think that they didn't have rotting larvae or the rotting trash or something laying around that debate hall for a fly to hatch inside that debate hall. Where'd it come from? Yeah. You know, the Lord will show us things if we just open our eyes. He'll give us slight messages, just, just a little hint. He that have an ear, let him hear. Him, I, he that have an eye, let him see. You know, just a slight hint. But you have to have the eyes open. You have to be looking up, looking up for Jesus, looking up to Jesus. And you listen to what he has to say. And everything he has to say is told you in this Bible. You use this for your roadmap, you'll decipher through it all. It's a long way around to saying when we go back to the uh, scripture that I just read you there that you're better to preach it from the housetop what you're hiding. You're just better off to do that because it will be revealed, especially if it's wrongdoing. If you're doing wrong to the world and you're trying to be the free the leader of the free world, so to speak, it's, Donald Trump wants to be the leader of our country. Hillary Clinton wants to be the leader of the world, hint, new world order coming in that's in your revelations just have a read of, you know, read revelation and the book of revelation and you'll know all about hillary clinton and barack obama but trump if he's telling the truth which i believe he may be just wants to be the leader of the country and here's the thing folks he is going to make the next four supreme court decisions the next four appointments i should say so would she. You have a liberal Supreme Court 
this video you can do away with. This Bible you can do away with. You can do away with all that. Your guns do away with them. They're done. You smoke cigarettes, it's over. Uh, but you'll be able to marry your dog and grow all the pot you want. Right, you got that, right? But it, it's crazy. The folks that are looking the other way. Now, Trump has his own secrets. They'll come out. We all do. We all have our secrets. And unless you're a true blue Christian and confess those to the to the masses, like I try to tell everybody the things I've done when it comes up, I have no problem. I'm not, a, I'm not proud of the things I've done. I'm not very ashamed of them, but I'm forgiven. I'm washed in the blood of Jesus. It still doesn't make me proud. And I'll be ashamed of them to the day I walk through the gates of heaven. And then all the shame and all the crying and all the tears and all the worry and the strife will be, praise Jesus, gone. Okay? But we all have those. Trump has those. We know this. Bottom line is, folks, Trump is a baby Christian. You remember when you were a baby Christian? Do you remember how much trouble it was to stay on that straight straight path toward the straight gate? How wide the gate was to, to hell? It was easy to get back on that wide path, but that narrow path to the straight gate. How hard that was to stay on that path. How hard it still is. It's easy to go back. It's easy to fall off and go back. And speaking of that, I digress. As a new Christian, it's much harder to stay straight on, this, on that path. And the devil will be on your case. Everything that can go wrong will go wrong. And you'll be like, what am I doing? What happened? And that's what happened. That's what's happened to Trump. Trump was in... Uh, I want to say Michigan that he was with uh, the one pastor up there and I believe that's when he truly got saved I, I truly believe that's when he got saved videos you name it has come out since then I mean it's the devil it's 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 the Isabob. it's the Lord of the Flies throwing this dung it's also translated as Lord of the Dung at Trump because they want their chosen one their new world order one to win and folks it's not looking good at the moment. I pray to God. I pray you, Jesus. I plead the blood of Christ that she don't win. If you don't like Mr. Trump, don't vote for him. Vote against Hillary. But vote. Because that's what they want, is you to stay home. And then they win. And then again, throw away your Bibles. Throw away your YouTube. Throw away your guns. Throw away your cigarettes. Throw away anything you like as a decent human being and enter marrying your dog and growing your dope and you name it you got it you'll get that if that's what you're looking for then go for it if that's what you're looking for but it's just like the Obamacare thing my wife's in this doctor's appointment there's not even a doctor in here it's all video conference because yes I'm on Medicare I'm disabled she's disabled she's got Obamacare you can't go to a decent physician you have to go to these government funded positions. If that's what you want, then you know, stay with the devil. Stay with the Isabel. Stay with the queen of the flies and the lord of the flies. But just remember this, folks. Remember what I said with Matthew 26, 10, 26, and 10, 27. If you think you're hiding it, you're not. Donald, Mr. Trump, future president, Mr. Trump, I pray. If you think you got something hid, you're not. The only thing is, is does the other person have more hid than you do? Did you kill anybody? Did you have anybody killed? Did you commit espionage? Did you fraternize with the enemy? I'm doubting it. Uh, but she did, and it's in there. Now, I'm going to digress one other second. I'm sitting here preaching the gospel and making this video for you folks. And I'm enjoying it. I, I always feel mentally better whenever I'm being able to do this physically I, I feel like I'm gonna fall out of this truck but that's that's on me and I, the Lord will keep me where I'm at but a, a funny thing it's not really funny it's kind of sad there was a young man sitting in the car next beside me when I started making this video with his little baby and they were having fun whatever he was playing rock music and some kind of crazy stuff and this and the other he's tattooed from his fingertips to his eyeballs and when he heard me start 
to plead, plead, plead the blood of Christ, he just got up and went inside. Grabbed his baby and went inside. Now that's sad. He should have had an ear to have him hear. Because I'm listening, I'm preaching the gospel. I'm not preaching any lies. The Lord does not lie, and he put it in a book for all of us to preach. And I'm sitting here preaching the gospel, and he got up, and he took his young, young one, his young boy, away from that. If you want that to happen, if that's what you want, praise God, we'll all be going to see Jesus soon, because the Lord is not going to stand for this much longer. I know this, you know this, it's, it's written, it's prophecy, it's prophesied, it's all coming to pass. But if you want it to be worse on you, okay. Put Clinton in there, go ahead. Because you're going to get more of that. People who do not want to hear the truth. People who do not want to hear the truth. Well, Pastor Kelly is out of here. Pray for us, we'll pray for you. We love you, but remember, Jesus loved you more. God bless.